It's Bourbon Night, and it's live. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Here's today's top stories. Sarah? Uh, it <laughs> snowed. Okay, yeah. But it, not much. It's already melted. Yeah. Um, we're going to start off the show with Virgil Kane. Okay. Now, this is on loan to us from Chad, not me. I was like, what? No, there's there's another. There's a there's a there's another. Oh, that I don't boy know if the world is our, can handle That boy is our last hope. Oh. No. There is another. Okay. Oh, that was pretty good. That was good. That I'm was... honestly surprised. But let's just leave it at that. Don't push it. Good night, everybody. Just like close that up in its own little moment. I'm just shut shut it down. Shut it down. Alright. Um, goodness. Yeah, our friend Chad is loaning this to us. Virgil Kane and Yes. Adriana says, uh, the snow makes you enjoy the whiskey more. I couldn't agree with you more on that. And I think that is why January is perfect. Well, at least for where we live for rye month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're taking a rye month. Now, if you want to, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> tab to the right, uh, I have the website. I see it. Pulled up. Ooh, that's a pretty graphic. Yeah, so it's three. The website looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. It's three distinctive straight rye whiskeys, um, partnering with Revelry. Is that what that says? Revelry? Brewing. We created this unique blend that consists of five-year-old rye, four-year-old double-barreled rye, and a delicious double-barreled rye whiskey in chocolate malted porter beer barrels. Porter chocolate. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I will try it. Now, I tried to find a price on it and uh, just a couple minutes ago before the show started, and I couldn't find it. So if anyone in the chat has that info, all I did was search on Total Wine, and I didn't see it there. Hmm. Uh, it says that I think it's just shy of 100 proof. It's a little shy. A little shy of 100 proof. A limited release and, uh, yeah, ribbon rail rye. Which is a tongue twister. Ribbon rail rye. Say it again. Ribbon rail rye. Again. Ribbon rail rye. Oh, Ribbon rail rye. Ribbon rail rye. Okay. Well, I just want to see if you can say it. You didn't want me to. I didn't want you to sing it. No. Um. South it, did it, we say South Carolina? No. Yeah. South Carolina. Come on and raise up. No, that's North Carolina. Dang it! Can it just work both ways? I think I can smell like the chocolatey port, uh, porter. Yeah. Notes. Ooh. Caught myself there. I was like, wait, am I talking about port wine or am I talking about beer? I thought you were talking about a steak. <laughs> Porterhouse. Oh, porter. Yeah. It's been yeah. so long since I, I used it that when I drank beer, like it, I went through definitely like a stout and porter phase of where it was like dark, rich, chocolatey. But then it's like too heavy. I can't drink those anymore. Yeah. It smells like if you picked up a, a beer glass that had just been drained and you smelled the, the empty glass with just yeah. the residual... Um, what is Zoe doing? I don't know. Over there? Dog's like banging around on the she's floor. Like I don't know what she's doing. Sniffing something out. That is a different, different mm. nose, or like something just kind of burnt. But it still has, you know, good rye notes in yeah. there too. Dog, what are you doing? <laughs> I just so cooked. Pay, a, pay attention to I me. I cooked a steak earlier, so I think she might just be sniffing around for that. I think she has a bone, okay. and she's just dropping it. Wow. All right. But I better go check, because now I'm concerned. Yeah, you, you Okay, can. let me just take you a can. sip. You, yeah. Woo. Whoa. Whew. Spicy. Well, that's a cornucopia of flavors. I'll be right back. Okay. One moment, please. Sure. I think the same rule applies. Sarah gets up. You have to drink. Woo. Uh, sorry, and I haven't been looking at the chat, so I don't know if anyone said... Uh, if they looked up how much this costs, <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, lots of good rye, like uh, pine. You know, it's kind of got that pine feeling, evergreen. But nice chocolatey, and it's got a good texture to it. I need another mm -hmm. sip because it was a, like this is my first sip of the day, and it the rye was a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just you know, crisis averted. It was just a bone. That she was being very clumsy with. Okay. I, I couldn't tell what she had. Yeah. It's like, are you okay? Do you need help? Yeah, she's like sniffing around the perimeter of the house and just like bumping into things mm. and like 
Did you get into the rye? I was like, I should go check on her. <clears throat> I would bring her over here and put her on camera, but she is now content with the bone over there. And <laughs> I think the expression is like, let sleeping dogs lie or whatever. But I she's, not, what they say. she's not sleeping, but no, you know, I still don't want to pester her. If she meanders over later, we'll, we'll pick her up, put yeah. her on camera. But she usually doesn't. In fact, a lot of times she, she like just puts goes herself to, the back to bed. And, She's like, "Ugh, I'm tired yeah, of all, whatever you guys have going on." Jibber jabbering over here. Forty-ish. <clears throat> Takupa says, "Hello, Takupa." This is forty-ish. Yeah, according to the Koopa, it's different. There ain't but no better source than the Koopa. I'm like, I'm a little surprised. I think it's, I think it's pretty tasty for forty bucks. It's definitely different. It's good. Uh, it's a good place to start out, and, and Swan. Mm -hmm. Swan was the one who brought this over, so it was, it was from Chad via the Swan. He was saying, yeah, it might be a good place to start because it is a little different. I think yeah. that's because of the, the beer. It's a little, like, it definitely has a higher level of rye spice than some. You know, if you like Pikesville and you're thinking, like, oh, I might get something like this, it's not going to be the same. This one has, like you said, more evergreen pine, but also some clove in yeah. there. Um, I really like the mouthfeel. And I think that has to do with the way it's interacting with the porter. Mm. Um, but I don't know. I think it's tasty. It's like creamy. <clears throat> I buy it. I think it's tasty. Did, uh, we have, did I miss a super chat? No, it was just Takupa saying disregard that. He was looking at uh, a, a bourbon. I was going to say for 40 bucks, An infused I bourbon. think I want one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, so So what's the, what's the verdict? So we still don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? And it's got a nice warm finish. I would say it looks and tastes around, well, if it was like a, no a normal distillery, like, you know, I'm sure they're smaller, they're crap. Probably, yeah. I would say probably around $50. I was going to guess that this probably price at 65 mm. Yeah, with it being, you know, smaller. Uh, come on, where's our facts? Fact checkers. <laughs> Deliver our facts. <laughs> we, we don't want to do work. <laughs> we rely on you all. You guys don't want to watch me Google something. Oh, Todd Cooper says looked up the the robber baron rye, still 40-ish. Huh. And this robber ribbon. This is ribbon rail. I think Todd Cooper's drunk. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Clifton, bourbon bites, South Carolina represent. That's how I imagine he said it. Glad to finally see a good whiskey out of my home state. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know if we remembered that. Got an extra. That, uh, uh, I did remember. I mean. Because he's a West Coaster now. Right. But he moved there from a uh, Carolina. I didn't remember that it was South oh, Carolina. Good, I just remembered good the on Carolinas. You. Good on you. I can't remember. $79.99. I was close, sir. Is what uh, Carlo was saying. $79.99. Thank you for that answer. That feels more rye. I mean, looking at it. You know what? I can't wait until Rye Month is over <laughs> so all the little puns can <laughs> cease. <laughs> I will miss it. I will oh, miss geez. it. Did you see today's uh, thumbnail? No. It said, all righty then. And then it also said, because I, I used the same picture as last week, mm. in small letters it said, Sarah, it had an arrow, it said, Sarah will not be wearing this online. <laughs> no, I'm wearing a big comfy sweater. Because people on last week's live commented, like, I clicked on this because I thought she was gonna be wearing that. I'm gone. Like, Which is like not normal bourbonite people. It's fine. But how else are we gonna make new friends? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't think it, that it would be perceived in that way. It was just a little off. No the one shoulder. said, "Hey, you're not wearing a." Well, sad. yeah. No one's like Chad's not wearing the t-shirt that he was wearing in this a three -piece episode. Three-piece suit. Oh well. Yeah. Whatever. <clears throat> It was a little odd to read oh. those comments. <laughs> oh. I guess a compliment? I don't really... You get, a, you get a little lower in the glass and you just kind of do like the bridge of the nose smell to where you're smelling more like, you know, here's... My, and I kind of get like a steak. Maybe it's because we had a steak bowl for dinner, but... It's always a steak. Well, it's probably because it still smells like steak in yeah, here. Yeah, it could be. Steak bowls. Could be, could be. All right, so the, the theme of tonight is more around your everyday, your everyday man's... Uh, rye. Now that can be talking about value. It can be talking about availability. Availability. You know, the week before was all the serious stuff, some fancy stuff, and I guess this might fall more in that category. As this last is week. more fancier. But 
This week, more just those, you know, accessible. Those accessible ones. And let's try to kind of figure out what we think is is one of the one of the best ones. Craig, thanks for the super chat. Craig said, enjoying some Hudson Baby Bourbon, even if you guys might not like it. Hey, I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Uh, yeah, I mean, if a distillery stays in business for years, they have to have a fan base. Somebody's buying it. Yeah. Right? It's, I mean, yeah. Now, I don't think I've said this uh, on live, and, and we forgot to do it as a what's new, but um, Ian helped us get uh, a Cleveland whiskey. So we have that, and that's what overwhelmingly people were saying was, was the their, worst. their least favorite bourbon. So, and we didn't have it, so we, we couldn't try it. We have one now. Once we get out of rye month, we're gonna have to try that, Sarah. Great. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Hey, looking forward to it, right? So, that just came to mind. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love punishment whiskey. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to know what all the hype or anti-hype is about. The opposite of hype. Yeah. Opposite yes. of hype. Yes? Nothing. I was just going to shuffle us along. Shuffle? Okay. Uh, I was just going to say to the chat, what's your 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 everyday rye, your value rye? Um, could be your cocktail rye. I don't know. We've got some stuff back here. You know, the likes of Jim Beam Rye, the Knob Creek, the Woodford, uh, Rittenhouse. Got some Pikesville in there. I think that's probably maybe like the height. Wait, that what? That we're going. Yeah, I got some Pikesville. Okay. At least for us, it's readily available. And it's that's a good value, even if, with it being Was 50 it 40, bucks. 45 sometimes? 45 sometimes, yeah. You, you find it like a... Uh, I like it. Uh, uh, welcome to Costco. I love you. Uh, Costco. Um, you find it at Costco, it's like 39 what? bucks. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, this sounds familiar, though, so don't explain it. You can explain it to me later. Oh, well, it's idiocracy. That's right. That's yeah. what they say. Welcome to Costco. That's all I, I needed. You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I want this. Mm. Should we go the other way, though? This is around 100, so, I mean, this yeah, is a we jump might up. Wanna... It's just 110. It's just 110. We've got some bullet rye. Uh, we've got some... Uh, I don't want to drink the bullet rye. Old Forester. <laughs> We've got a Rebel Yell rye that could be an uncorking. Okay. We've got the James E. Pepper Ooh. that could be an uncorking. All right, I'll put, the, okay. I, I want the, what did you say? Oh. I want the Rebel Yell. The Rebel Yell, okay. <sighs> we'll put this back, we'll come back to it later. Yeah. It's what I really want to get to, okay. but. Because in our Patreon poll, this, you know, it wasn't at the top. Not enough votes to get like its own um, produced video, but it, it, some people did vote on it as you know what they wanted to see this month. So I think a live uncorking will do it just fine. 22.49 at total wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think this is 80. No, 90. 90 good. proof. Oh, nice. good, good, good. John Streets. John is it, Streets. Is it the usual? No. Uh, he says, drinking Rossville, Un or Rossville Rye barrel proof in my usual fashion, 500 likes, and I'll do a third shot of Malort. And it's... Wait, a third shot of Malort and It's Bourbon Night to Honor. Cheers. Woo! Uh, John. It was the usual. Oh, that one was really light. It was beautiful. I hope you liked it. It was, it was lovely. You never know what you're going to get with me. <laughs> speaking of that, we do have that Rossville Union. Oh, I thought you meant like, speaking of, you never know what you're going to get with me. <laughs> a box of chocolates. <laughs> not usually. <laughs> <laughs> now, we do have that. It's not here, but I could get it if... You're like um, Sour Patch Kids. But there's always... Is there another Sunday in? Yeah, there's another Sunday in. Yes. January. Mm -hmm. At least one more. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at my calendar. Nope. I refuse to. Trev says, "Mmm, malorty." Mmm, malorty. I say, disgusting. Show me that pepper. Gross. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Who gets that reference? Sounds familiar, but Put I it. can't remember everything that you memorize. Well, so I'll tell you that. Random ass comedy movies. Uh, here's a little clue. Uh, we talked about watching it last week, and but we didn't. It was the night that we watched Trading Places. I forgot. Yeah. I don't remember. If I don't write it down, it isn't gonna stick in my head. JG says, have you tried the light whiskey Obtanium? I've, uh, I have a 14 year aged one at 147 proof. Not hot, butterscotch, vanilla, honey bomb. So good, cheers. We have not. What is this? We have not, I've heard of it. Of? Yeah, I've heard of this. We do not. 
it, it, it has not been obtained. <laughs> Short circuit. We didn't really talk about watching that one. You said, I want to watch this. And I said, okay. <laughs> she hasn't. Just because you, you haven't seen it. But yes, you're right. Short circuit. You are correct. You wow. don't remember all the movies that I say I want to watch? Uh, the Color Purple. Well, Though I've seen, seen it. it. You've, seen you've it. never seen it. I haven't seen it. I feel like it's important to see For the sure. James Cameron movies. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, because he's sort of a big deal. He's, I don't know if you know that, but it's kind of a big deal. He made that Avatar movie. Not that saying Titanic. that. Not saying it's warranted. I'm just saying he's kind of a big deal. Yeah, and, and Terminator. Anyways. Tony Joey Bag of Donuts says, I went to law school at Costco. <laughs> Got a Victor Single school. Barrel Rye, uh, a local Illinois farm rye, and Dad's Hat Rye, and a few more worthy selections for a fancy rye night. Well, that's another great Idiocracy reference. Thank you there. Yeah, I think the recommendation for this episode is going to be, if you haven't seen Idiocracy, you need to watch it. Yeah, for sure. Like... It's like a, it's dumb comedy, but it's also scary. <laughs> and I mean, it's funny. Yeah. There's a lot of feelings that have wrapped up in that movie. There's a lot of feelings in that it's movie. It's a lot. Yeah. This just this smells light. Mm, kind of musty. I'm getting almost no rye spice on this. I'm the same. I was going to say swan with a uh, short circuit quote. Michelle says, I know it's not rye, but we found a baker seven years, so we opened that tonight. Not sure how we feel about it yet. Mm. With a small smiley face. <laughs> I couldn't grin. tell if it was the straight line or a like the little smile. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. A triangle cheers for you. A triangle. We like Baker's, a uh, little brother of, of Booker's. But who's surprised that right. we like Booker's little brother, basically? True. Now, you know, we went all single barrel and, and all that. Um, we kind of said it was sort of like the overlooked brother before, but now it's, you know... It's gone through a change. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have a whole lot going on. It does not. It's very light. It is. I'd much rather have just the regular Michter's 100 light. proof. Or Michter's. <laughs> Someone was talking about Michter's. Rebel Yell. Rebel Yell. I looked at it, read it, and then said Michter's. Um, <laughs> this is what happens sometimes. It's, it's, it's how the brain goes. Yeah, I think I, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. It's super light. It's easy. Would you put it in a cocktail? I don't think it has enough uh, there. But I don't think it would hurt anything either. Like if I mm -hmm. had a bottle, like if you, if someone gifted me this bottle, for example, and right. we didn't need it for the show, uh -huh. if I was just like, I don't love sipping it neat, yeah, I put it in a cocktail. Like mm -hmm. why not? It is pretty sweet. It's kind of sweet, yeah. yeah. Um, which, but I think for some people who need a baby step, either from a price standpoint or a rye spice standpoint, or both. The options like this are good. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go more with the Old Forester rye, mm. um, personally. Yeah, there's, there's more Although to it. This is fine. I mean, is it not... I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not offensive in it, any way. No, no. Uh, point, counterpoint, 2249, I'd probably get the Jim Beam rye. Also 90 proof, I yeah. believe. I mean, the more I sip this, the more I'm like, it's pretty thin on the finish. Hold on. Which, you know, for 22 bucks, like, what else what can you really ask of it? I don't know. Uh, we got a couple more Super Chats. Tony saying, hey, yo, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about making the trip to Bardstown tomorrow from Nashville. What what time should I get to the distilleries to pick up something special? Oh. Mm. Well, the thing about tomorrow is it's a holiday for some, and a lot of distilleries are closed on Mondays. So I think, I know Bardstown Bourbon Company is closed tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Heaven Hill should probably be open. They're usually open on Mondays, I think. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, what do they, whatever time they open, get there at least 30 minutes to an hour before with Heaven Hill. If you want any hope of getting whatever it is I'm sure you're searching for that wouldn't be in the gift shop. And just know, even if you get there an hour before... There's going to be there's a, probably there's a gonna line. There's going to be a line. You won't be the first. Probably going to be a line. Yeah. Um, I would look up and see if... Where else? Will it is probably going to be closed, but I would look it up. Lux I think, Row? Uh, Lux Row, if you want to get... like They have a distillery only. The 12-year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they have like some of those fancier Ezra books. Right. There's there. a new 99-proof Ezra books. So I would on. hit 
I would hit Heaven Hill first and then kind of plan the rest of your trip around that. Yeah. If that helps. Uh -huh. But definitely do your research because, like I said, with it being a holiday tomorrow and it being a Monday, a lot of places are going to be closed. Right. So, there you go. No, sorry to take too much time <laughs> to explain how I would do that. Uh, oh, Dewey. Dewey says, I hope you're having a great new year. I'm toasting you both with some Pikesville tonight. Cheers. Well, how appropriate. Awesome. Because we will also Good be drinking you, some Dewey. Pikesville. Yes. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and poured um, the Jim Beam just so oh. we could we could see. Well, that's Cause nice. Because this is also like 22 bucks. Hmm. Uh, also 90 proof. Just... Oh, more similar than I remembered. Dang. Hmm. But I think it's got more going on. See if you agree. Oh, hmm. Trev said, I got to Heaven Hill an hour and a half before they opened, was the only one there, and a worker walked out and said, I know why you're here, and I'm sorry, but we don't have anything special today. I mean, at least they were kind enough to spare you the time. Yeah. I'd say I haven't heard of any releases at Heaven Hill this week or like around now. So my guess is they probably won't have anything super special. But I think if you get there at the yeah. latest 30 minutes early and then you can do like Trev did. And if there's just nothing, they'll probably come tell you. Yeah. And then you can just, you won't have to wait that long in the next place you go to, right? Because they all probably yeah, you're open right. at the same time. Yeah, it's probably been too much time since the last... Um, old Fitzgerald came out since the... Ooh, the I'd rather have this. Yeah, same. I'd rather have this. <laughs> the C920. Uh, but been, the A might be coming out. A120? Yeah, too, too soon. One I know. January. But they're all, they're not like car companies. I wish they were. I feel like it's It's gonna, a possibility. It's, but it's on a possibility. A, I mean, a Monday? I don't know. I don't know. Well, hey, if you go it's, and they have something, let us know. Because, yeah. like, we're, you know, an hour out. So I wouldn't mind if they had the A. Uh, the mm, yeah. proof. It's this one. Drink if you're gonna spend twenty two dollars. Here's a live drink this or that. This one. Drink this one. <laughs> drink this one. Not this one. This one's fine, but drink this one. Man, just more flavor. This just has more flavor. Yeah. Go from the rye to the bourbon and go to the one hundred proof um Rebel Yell. Yeah, just or gonna... sorry, Rebel. Or no Yell. Which one are they getting rid of? <laughs> Re yell. Rebel. I think. They're scratching yell. It's just going to be rebel bourbon. Rebel. Right? Yeah. 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 It's not just going to be yell. Who knows? Hey, give me some yell. Just yell. <laughs> just give me... Ah! I'm so... Oh, you want some yell? Yes. Yeah. They're scratching the yell. It's just rebel. So get oh, yourself yeah. some rebel 100. Uh, and someone's... drink it with rebel. Who Wilson. said this? Uh, sound of... Sound Groove of America said, I'm like five minutes from a total wine and I would like to buy a rye for 40 to $60. What are some good options in that price range? If you can find the rare breed rye, that's going to be the $60 ish. Obviously we love Pikesville. It's probably going to be 45 or 50 bucks at, um, total wine. What else? Um, 40 to 60 bucks. 40 to 60 bucks rye? Is that what we're for talking a about? rye. Mm -hmm. Uh, 40 to 60, you could no, do... If you can do a Knob Creek single barrel rye, that's yep. good. You could do, uh, Woodford. You could do, mm. not, um, Elijah Craig if you could find it. Oh, well, Elijah Craig. Actually, that's less than... Rye would be less. That's, that's less, yeah. less than. Yeah. Uh, 40 to 60. You could do this, uh, James E. Pepper if you can find it back here. Um, yeah, Pikesville... That's tough. You have stumped. That's, you have yeah. stumped us. There's a quick question. A, that's a good did you question. did you read the beginning of it though? That's also that's another. What did I miss? I'm like five. Drinking minutes. with President Dwayne. Uh... No, I just was reading this one above it. I haven't read this. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so from Dan, super chat. Thank you. Dan says drinking with President Dwayne. El How do you say? Elisand it? Elisandro. Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho. 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 Uh, with some old granddad 114 spelled thusly. With two D's for a double dose of this <laughs> <women. laughs> Upgrade. That deserves, Spelled thusly. That gets... That gets... Oh, wow. You know that movie. I really know wow. that movie. Wow. I'm impressed by your movie knowledge. Uh, Her it, pimp, Upgrade. Spelled thusly. Spelled the thusly. The extra D is for its double dose of... <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You guys should watch it. Oh it if you need something God. to, like... Remind you of just where we're all going to be and, at, and, and but also just shut your brain off. Yeah. It's good. It's good. 
Um, Derek says, I got the William <laughs> Heaven Hill the week before Christmas at Heaven Hill. That mm. was only three weeks ago. Oh, so there you go. Okay. I mean, they don't just like go to their warehouse and grab it though. Right. They have to wait. They have to give it to a distributor and wait till the distributor gives it back to them, basically. It's messed which up. Which is so stupid. It's messed which up. Which is the reason why they don't have stuff on certain days. There was a, a couple over the super chats. There was what? one from Clifton. Where? Um, not a super chat. Oh. But just a comment. Bourbon bites down. Uh okay. okay. Well, there's one right there. Oh. Uh, Bourbon bites. Up. What are you talking about? There it is. The one at us. Oh, Mary was very excited to have you make her cocktail last night. Thank you for sharing on Instagram. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> of course, it was tasty. It was tasty. Yeah. And we, everybody was like really impressed with the little uh, sword Katana? skewer. Ooh. Yeah. I'm well, now he's gonna it. have to go and get it. Scott Paisley says, happy 99th birthday, Betty White. And you know what? Oh, wow. What a great thing to cheers to. <sighs> if I have one dream in life, it's to be her when I grow up. Yeah, I'd love it if you were She's Betty White hilarious. when you grow up. Uh, She's still got it. Get, why don't you just set that one aside? Okay. There's no need to I have to no that. problem with that. There's no need. Um, yeah, and a further shout out. So Bourbon Bites had the proprietor of this cocktail kit on last night. And this was sent to both of us from our... Make more good friend Don. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. It's uh, uh, drink with your eyes first. Yeah. I want to make sure I have nope, the spelling I don't right. Think that's right. Drink with your eyes one st first one st. Drink with your eyes first on Instagram, and she makes these uh, cocktail, cocktail kits. kits. I believe um, she was a bartender who COVID hit her Impacted, hard. Yeah. So you know so this is still her uh, giving to the world in a different way. And check this out. This little skewer, don't break it. You almost broke Whoosh. it. It's a little tiny sword. Yeah, so you put like the, the, the what do you call it? Pineapple. Dried pineapple. Dried pineapple. On a, it's like a skewer. And then you set it on your cocktail glass. It's really like cool. so. Yeah. So that's neat. Yes. We enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah, very cool. Okay. All right, let's get to something else. What shall it be? Um, uh, someone said the Mictors. Someone, the Mictors? Okay. I, well, I saw a lot of people saying Mictors, and I don't know if they were saying, like, Let's do it. that's what they're drinking or that's what they want us to drink. But, I mean, eventually we're going to get to the Pikesville, but now I feel like that's going to be what we're building to, <laughs> which is fine with me. Uh, we had the barrel-proof version of this last night. Mm, and so yummy. Love. It, love yeah, love. 108 and some change. It was really good. So tasty. It was really good. This one is not Thank that you. proof. Sorry. It's okay. That one got away from me. He likes to... I was at a weird angle. It's not a problem. Uh, this one, you know, this is the US1 single barrel oh. rye, which is... That was the cowbell cheers. I'm so sorry for anyone who's wearing headphones. Oh, wow. That was loud. The babies we'll have just... unlatched. Ding. 84.8 <laughs> proof. Um, let's see. That was for Scott Pigsley, uh, for the oh, 99. Betty White birthday shout out. And, uh, Cletus, who says, <laughs> I was able to get a Larceny Barrel Proof A121 this weekend in Michigan. Oh. Surprised the heck out of me that it was out already. It comes in at 114 proof. Oh, that's low. It is what it is, well, I guess. sure, but I'm just shocked that it's that low. I'm also surprised. Elijah it, Craig, 114. I bet it still tastes really good. But I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. We liked that George T. Stag that was low proof. It was 119. Like yeah. Or 116. I oh, I still don't think you can call 116 low proof. It was lower than normal, for I guess. Stag. Yeah, for for something that is has been hazmat over 140 proof True. before, that's low. But we still liked it. Yes, we did. Um, and Jeremy, that loud, really loud, aggressive cowbell will also be for you. Uh, he says, hey guys, curious how you would recommend getting my fiance into whiskey and not gagging when she tries my quote, fire water. Thanks. Um, Sir, you're talking to my fiance. What movie is that from? This is a quiz. Yeah, it's always a quiz. I know what it's from, but I'm not going to spoil it for them. How to get your fiance into... I mean, I think that... What I've learned over the past few years is that there's no one way to get people into it. Uh, I've known people that just pick up a Wild Turkey 101 and they're like, I like this. They're ballers. And you're like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I would say if you could start her, I think the best route to go, if she likes cocktails, 
you know, start with bourbon cocktails or if bourbon and ginger ale, bourbon and Coke. I don't know what she drinks. Um, Our tight spot, I think, is a great intro. It's a great intro. Intro, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, very nice, which if, we have a recipe. She likes ginger beer. Yeah, go watch our Drink More Bourbon Cocktails episode for that one. That one's a little older, so be gentle. Be nice with your feedback. Um, what else? Oh, if she likes wine, I really um, love the idea yeah. of introducing um, people to wine-finished bourbons because uh, I think it just makes it a little sweeter and a little more mild mm -hmm. almost. And then if you put it on the rocks, it's going to be maybe a little bit more approachable and maybe a bridge between wine and whiskey Yeah, if she's into that. Mm -hmm. um, that's about... I mean, no, I think that's good. I think that's, that's good. It. Low, you know, low, lower low proofs, proof. obviously, but we still say Maybe start like with 86. Some weeders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you can find a Weller Special Reserve, mm -hmm. that seems to be. Woodford is also another good one to get introduced people, but that one's 90 proof, so yeah. And not a weeder. No, it's not a weeder, but yeah. it's more gentle. Sure, yeah, it's it's more gentle. I consider it a stepping stone. Mm, yeah. Maybe this one. I don't know. Let's see. This is gentle. All Michter's has a toasted marshmallow note to it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Even especially Michter's toasted barrel. Especially the toasted barrel. Um, I love it. This would be a. I would. Ooh, this tastes like toasted maple. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You witnessed it. You witnessed it. Um, it's got a little mapley note no. on the finish. Oh, brother, we're out there. Good that job, chat. Right. Good job. Which yes. is the reason we're O Bourbon for Art Thou. We love that movie, too. Yeah. Oh, that's such a great movie. It's a good one. Such a great one. And where the tight spot comes from. The, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Man. We yeah. draw a lot of inspiration from that movie. Yeah, it's true. We owe them some thanks. We do. Um, you better be nice or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> we thought you was a toad. <laughs> Tyler says, oddly, was about to ask about Mictor's Rye as it just came to West Virginia. Uh, great timing and cheers. Well, Thank cheers. you, Tyler. I'll Appreciate it. Little, Appreciate that very much. A little much. nicer on that one. I mean, yeah, I would say for your fiance, this would actually, I mean, it's a rye, but mm. still getting you that whiskey. It's 84.8, but it still has some personality. This and a cocktail with the, the little maple yeah, and the toasty yeah, yeah. notes could be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe the Southern Old Fashioned with this? Maybe. Just a really light Southern Old Fashioned? A Yes, I think an old fashioned is a little bit more of an intimidating cocktail for someone who isn't there yet. Depending Once, on the whiskey, I think that's like your next step, okay. right? You you do like the more fruit forward or like syrup forward whiskey drinks. So like the tight spot or a, a Kentucky Mule. If she likes mm. Moscow Mules, mm -hmm. sub the oh, vodka for bourbon, go. and then start that way. And then if she's you know, decides she likes it, which there, you, I think you should accept that there's a chance that she'll be like, this isn't for me. Yeah. Uh, and we'll all shed a small tear, but hey, everybody's got something. Joseph um, Brazo says, start with Basil Hayden, then toss back a shot of George C. Stagg to get more Basil Hayden. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. But yeah, I would start <laughs> with that type of a cocktail, then move to an Old Fashioned or a Manhattan or something like that. It's a little bit more whiskey forward. And then go from there. Mm -hmm. um, if she doesn't like that, I don't know what to tell you. She, oh. Some people are just clear spirits or like white yeah. wine people. Well, Dewey says one of uh, their local restaurants has a bourbon slushy. Ooh, that's uh, a good idea, too. Amazing. Milk punch is another oh, good one. Oh, milk punch. But go to, you go can't, to Louisiana. Well, it's really tough to make. I mean, if a one-off, like it's, if you're just making it for one person. And it's a lot. It's heavy. Devin says sidecar with a rye? Uh, I do like sidecar. It is a little... I really loved sidecars in my 20s. Side and now it's a little sweet. Yeah, I prefer a gold rush. It's like a little too sweet and lemony. Mm -hmm. I like a gold rush, but I take the recipe for a gold rush and like dial the lemon back because it's too much for me. Yeah. I wanted. I want to taste more of the whiskey. But What's if you your fiance? You might want to taste more of the citrus and sugars. Mm -hmm. um, Wait. Remember Lisa Marie did that in Nala? Um, I do not remember that. So it must was that have been the a first good night? Time. Because I was having a great time, and I don't remember a lot. Was that after the uh, what are what are those girls called? No, 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 burlesque. No. Burlesque dancers. I couldn't think of the word. I was gonna just let you go just to see how much. <laughs> Thanks. What you thought burlesque was? After the burlesque ladies pulled me up on stage and and did their uh, dance of seven veils or whatever it was, and. Uh, oh, yeah. 
I forgot about that. Why did they treat you so special? Slightly, but I was okay with it. Yeah, I don't embarrass that easily. That's true. He yeah. doesn't. Yeah. I no. do. It was good. It was good. <laughs> Only Elise Marie can pull off that move. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I feel like I'm... it's buried in a... I feel like Sarah with an H would remember this, but I don't remember right. this. Right. You have to speak to Sarah you just speak with an H to her. And, and Chaz. She was there. I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Definitely maple. It is a little maple-y. I don't remember that. And last night when we were having the barrel-proof version of this, it's not like the maple turned up. It, uh, there were, really there wasn't, wasn't maple. as much maple. No. Mm-mm. Hmm. Um, Paul says, my wife's favorites are Angel's Envy, Woodford Double Oaked, and Mixture Sour Mash, all relatively sweet and smooth-ish sippers. Huh. Yeah. Talk, I think about, uh, talk about maple syrup. Angel's Envy rye. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to be different for every person, but I feel like I found the most people who are getting into bourbon take to lower proof, typically wheat weeded mash bill. Mm -hmm. I think that's why so many people start on makers and then they end up becoming uh, lifetime makers drinkers because they, let's be honest, they start drinking either. makers in like college and <laughs> it's easy and you can mix it and it's pretty sweet and it's, you know, lower proof and approachable and then they just become their makers people for the rest of their lives. They're just brand loyal. True. Brian Brindicke says, I still have the Chad Burlesque video on my phone, I believe. Oh, you delete that, don't sir. delete it. I want to see it. <laughs> Don't delete it. Um, okay, you gotta quick. hold it for blackmail. <laughs> yeah, we got Old Forester, that Old Forester ride that everybody loves. Skip Chad. Yeah. Uh, we got that Elijah Craig, some old Overholt, the entry. Now we got the higher ones, you know, thanks to Takupa. We got the entry, old Overholt, uh, Knob Creek. We got some New Riff Rye, uh, Woodford Rye. Bullet is the twelve year rye, actually. Um, and then we could do a couple on corking. Well, we already did one on corking, but we could do the James E. Pepper as well. So if anyone has any strong feelings, we need to get something in our glass because we got a super chat here. We do have a super chat. Um, yeah, call it out. We're waiting for the delay. Say it. Ru someone said, let's see, Devin and Russell both say Russell's in all caps. Well, we don't have that on the... Well, no, that's because we did that in a Drink This, Drink That episode. Oh, we did, yes. A couple yes. weeks ago. We did do that. The um, six year versus ooh, the single barrel right? I, that... For the person who asked about total wine, we should have said the single barrel rye because that's good too. Oh, and true. that's about sixty bucks, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Overholt, uh, pepper. We don't have the bib up here, John. It's the Someone eighty proof. Someone said Woodford next. Overholt one fourteen pepper. We're saving those Takuba. The Woodenville rye. That's, <laughs> we did that last week. We did that last week. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepper. We got Old some. Overholt. We got some written house. Anything over 110. Pepper. Okay, it seems like it's going to be the pepper. Oh, a Pikesville, but we'll finish with that. Pepper. Yeah, pepper. Okay, let's, let's do the, do the pepper. pepper. Let's do the pepper. Been wanting to open this anyway. I was waiting for rye month. All right, this sweater was a mistake. <laughs> it always is. I should have worn what I was wearing in the thumbnail. It would have been a lot cooler. That's true. I should have worn my three-piece suit and been very hot. Um, now, and it would have been temperature-wise uncomfortable. Ha ha, thank you. Uh, now this... You I know, have jokes too. I got the jokes. Will you give me a chance? <laughs> That's why I try not to. I know. Oh, I'm kidding. I complimented you with my joke. I love it. Now this is 110 proof. This is Pikesville territory. It's also cost Pikesville territory. Oh. It's around 50 bucks if I remember right. I don't know where the neck tag went. What's the year on this? This is a four year. It's a four year. Do you think it, this, this is, is their, their, their distillate? Their, their distillate. Their distillate. So this is our hometown, everybody. This is made here in Lexington. Um, so we really want to like it, but we won't let that affect our... Oh, yeah. We also have baby sass over there, so I could just go oh, grab yeah. that, too, if you guys want to see that. Got some um, of that baby sass. You know what? You open that. I'll just bring it. Okay. So a four-year rye. Now, we all know, much like boys, rye matures faster. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> right? Because, you know, guys just get so mature. Sure. So much faster than right. the females. No offense to all you gentlemen out there, but... I feel like, hmm? Okay. You feel like pause for cork pop? Sure. That's why I picked you, Chad. Because you're not boys my age who were not at the time worth much. See, so guys, it's it's worth it to be older. Not not worth much. You know what I mean. That sounded awful. <laughs> they weren't where I needed them to be. Sure, they weren't 
of the same mindset. Correct. Yeah. They weren't ready. They weren't in your headspace. I couldn't put. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Oh. Uh, All right. I was Live. Like, I, I don't want to raise you. <laughs> I want to date you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking for a project. Live uncorking of uh, James E. Pepper. Lexington, Kentucky, right there on the label. Straight rye whiskey, single barrel, 110 proof. This is four years. It's cask 1040, if that matters to you. And, um, yeah, this is DSP KY5. An old one. These are some pretty good pours, Chad. An old one. Well, some pours in this house. It smells good. We... Ooh, it does. We, we might have to get the Pikesville out. 110? I mean, it's worth comparing. Oh, wait. Swan giving, Swan giving some info. He says, this is an odd one. It's produced in Kentucky and Indiana, but it's a single barrel. Check the back. It, it left, left me it. confused. Oh, so this isn't their distillate. But how can it be a single barrel? Now, sometimes people say, oh, single barrel? We just mean a single barrel's worth. Like a single barrel size small batch. A 53 gallon small batch we is did. the single barrel. And we did miss one. We You're did right. miss one. Yes. Kevin. Uh, Kevin quit um, adventures. Oh, that sounds like I want to go on an adventure. I love to. Uh, it says, I like mixtures with electrolytes. It's got what plants crave. <laughs> Water? Like out the toilet? Like out the toilet? <laughs> Yeah. Strawberry told you. Strawberry told you. And Jeff Winbush says, I hate to ask, but how much older is Chad than Sarah? How much of a cradle are you robbing, sir? Well, I personally believe once you pass like 25, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does. You can have a significant age gap after that, but like for the most part, everyone's an adult. I'll say this. We were born in the same decade. Boom. All right. So this says... There, he said that. The James U. Pepper... Filling his first barrel in 2017. So they. So it'll be four they, years old next year. 17. 18, That's 21. 19. 20. Yeah, at the end of 21, it'd be four. Mm -hmm. So they must have supplemented this with some. That is confusing, Swan. Do you think. Do you think they're sourcing the single barrels, some from Kentucky and some from Indiana? And so they're just putting both of them on the back to cover them depending on whichever one they release that's possible it says this and we won't take up your time to do it but it says additional details on the whiskey can be found on the uh strip stamp across the cork on the bottle learn more at jamesepepper.com so if anyone wants to do some work for us it's uh cast 1040 is what we're drinking from 1040 uh but yeah just okay distilled dsp in 1523 so that is... 15023, yeah. Yeah, that is uh, MGP. So that's where it's distilled. It's bottled in Lexington. So this is MGP stuff. Well, that's... I, won't, mm -hmm. I don't want to say disappointing, but... Derek Young said, A relationship with no age statement. Bravo. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. a uh, non-age stated I relationship. Like and by the way, for Jeff Wimbush. Thank you. We didn't answer your question, but we kind of answered your question. Well, I think we answered your question as much as Chad is. Same decade means 10 years or less. Right. The Thirst Mutilator. Ooh. Ooh. This has like a mint chocolate. And a mint pepper. <laughs> which is like peppery yeah it is pepper sorry wow this drinks more like 120 than 110 that pepper note kicks it up this must be a high well okay indiana probably 95.5 probably if it's mgp the pepper yeah lit a far in my chest okay dang well there you go i like it uh, Swan, Swan, are you talking about this one? Swan said, that being said, this one made my top 10 last year. It's tasty. I have to agree with you. This is my... I don't remember that. I listened to that episode. So far, if this is what you're talking about, this is the best thing that I've... Not that it depends on what you were talking about. I've had all night. This is the best thing from Jamesy e. Pepper that I have had that I can recall. Even including their 10-year bourbon. Mm. The 10-year bourbon was good. It, well, that was also source, but yeah. But it had... I remember having like an extra cherry or like a almost bordering on licorice flavor that I wasn't down with. I don't um, know. I like this it. This is tasty. This is tasty. It reminds me of like mint chocolate. Nerd. I don't know. Kind of like a refreshing. How but does, it's also got the, the 
proof. The proof mm -hmm. is right there in the bottle. Michelle saying, uh, how does it compare to the 1776 rye? Now there's different. There's barrel proof. There's 100 proof. It's actually a sherry rye. Yes, I know that. There. Yeah. Um, we should do another wine finish. There's like a red wine day coming up or something. Yeah. Valentine's. It's like you. right before Valentine's Day. Thank you, Michelle. Ooh. Um, <laughs> crack. Uh, so on our perfect for fall list, we had the 1776 barrel proof as an alternate. Just saying, spoilers. As an alternate. For another pour. For, for another pour. Because there's pours in this house. How much was this? I want to say around 50 bones. Swan? 50 bones? Okay. Swan. Heh. Like, <laughs> There's a delay. Because uh, honestly, she asked about the 1776 rye. Mm -hmm. I would, if we could go back and do that video again after having tried this, I would put this in instead. Ooh. Not that it would be a good sub for the thing that we chose. Correct. But that I would just have chosen this for a wintery. Because mm. of that pepper. It's mm. so warming. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? It's it, But it could also be like an early spring. About ready to pop too. this shirt off. You know, like April, nasty. I don't, again, I'm assuming that it's like that everywhere just because of where I live. Everywhere. 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 No. Wow. Mm. Okay, the barrel proof, Michelle says. 55 says swan. Yeah. Um... So this is a, a little bit higher than Pikesville price, but this is a high rye rye. I mean, I don't even need to be told. It's a high rye rye. Pikesville is a barely legal rye, so, so we're is, in different ballparks. Should we even do a matchup? Well, no. No. We can still drink Pikesville tonight. But we're not gonna match them up. We're not gonna match because them up. Because this one is clearly more rye forward <laughs> than Pikesville. Like, it would make Pikesville taste like, I don't know. Not, I wouldn't even say watery, but it would make it taste like a bourbon. I mean, it already tastes like a bourbon, let's be honest with you. <laughs> Trev said, did someone say shirt off? That's his, like, calling. You just, <laughs> this shirt off signal up He's in like, the sky. Shh. And he sees it. Someone's popping their shirt off right now. <laughs> I'm needed. <laughs> Captain's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the people who don't know Trev are like, what are they what talking about? What are they about? talking about? These crazy people. Joey, Tony, bag of donuts. Oh, my God. OMG, you guys. I didn't even realize I'm wearing the Thirst Mutilator shirt during all these idiocracy quotes available at whiskeyambitions.com. Well done. That's Thank very you. meta of you. Thank you, Joey Tony Bag of Donuts. We appreciate that. There you go. Official. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, it's uh, got electrolytes. It's got what bourbon drinkers I do it. like that shirt. Like, yeah. most of the time, no one talks about that shirt. But then you it's see... It's a sleeper. You, like, wear it out somewhere and someone's like, dude, that is the best shirt. Like, one person every once in a while and it makes you feel good. Because you're like, oh, we both like that movie. It's true. It's good to know the people. And you like wrote. bourbon? Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Scott says, Elephant in the Room, did you, Whiskey Dick and the Whiskey Tribe, play in the Broken Cork videos this oh, week? Oh, that's you, funny. That's funny. We must all be somehow on the same whiskey wavelength. Like, Well, ours was circumstantial because that Michter's 10 year rye cork broke and it was supposed to be our episode for friday yeah it was gonna be a friday episode and we we're like now let's just put that out i'm gonna do a little little thing a little video a quick one um and then we'll do we'll do we wanted to get our fall winter sorry winter. our winter episode out we actually filmed that before christmas and wanted to get it out around christmas but with the 25 episodes and uh, the orders and everything else, it, it wasn't going to happen. And the Yule December, Log video. December got away from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we're like, before winter officially goes away, we want to get this out. We, so we, did. we shifted some things around and made that Friday's episode. And um, yeah, wouldn't have made that if it hadn't broken. Right. And it's never happened to us before, so we definitely didn't plan it. Like, yeah. it just was something that happened. And, and then, Chad was like, I want to make a video about this. And then it's so funny because Bill commented and was like, Dude, I was literally gonna put this video out this week, but he said he watched ours and that eventually just was well he like, put he put it out on Friday. Yeah, but he said they weren't as close as he thought they were gonna be. No, no, no. And then so his was five uh, methods to, uh, and I, I'm glad I didn't title ours as two methods to get a cork out because then here comes Bill with five, five methods, methods. <laughs> and then the whiskey vault the next day I think comes out with eight <laughs> methods to get your cork. Cork stuck. We must and they have all. They were trying methods to see what worked. I just wanted to try a method. If that first one had worked, it would have been one method to get your cork out. <laughs> I just wanted like, to get that cork this out. This works. Yeah, this works. I'm done. I'm 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 good. Because uh, it wasn't like a, a normal epi normal episode for us. No. It was just so. kind of like a 
value, that's for you, Scott. Value add. And for Jeff Winbush for the super chat. Thank, Thank you, Jeff. you, Jeff. But yeah, the the tribe emailed us and said, hey, next time we need to uh, coordinate on our shirts so if we're gonna, <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna <laughs> have the same topic for episodes. Which is so, weird because yeah. in all the time we've been doing this, I don't think that we've ever had such a close like with more than with well, even one. If it was channel. like an, a, you know a bottle that came out around the same time and and other channels do it, I could see that. But like, well, how to things, get a cork out of a bottle? Right. That's it's like, such a specific thing. If it's yeah. like this year's release of Stag Jr. or whatever, and uh -huh. we all do it within a week of each other, it's probably because we all were just able to get our hands on it. Yeah. Like, so, there's or if like that. a If like a press kit gets sent to people right. all at the same time Then it makes something. sense, yeah. but yeah. Ooh, man, I do like this. Jeff says, my 65th birthday was yesterday and my 40th wedding anniversary is this summer. That's worth a drink on me. Well, thank Dang, you. Jeff. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Wow. We hope you get to do something special for That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. Very oh, cool. We're so happy that you're spending it with us. I mean, <laughs> this part, not your anniversary. Don't spend that with us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Todd Cooper is asking uh, Clifton Bourbon Bites if he has 10 methods. Do <laughs> you have 10 methods? Well, if you do, we're going to come out with 12 methods. Like, but, Chad. Uh, number 11, break the bottle. Psh, it's out. I was working in my office the day that Chad was doing his video and he was like giving me updates. Like, I, I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> I tried the knife thing, it didn't work. I'm gonna try this bag thing, and I was like, there's no way that bag, I, I was like, oh, worked. okay, have fun, yeah. good luck. I was like, there's no, way. Yeah. there's no way this is gonna work. And he comes back and he's like, look! It works. I was very impressed. When I watched the video, I even then I knew it worked. And even when I was watching the video, like, I was it's like, not gonna work. that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Uh, Tyler corrected me, it was uh, technically on the Whiskey Tribe. The Whiskey Tribe, channel, sorry. Not the Whiskey Vault. Same dudes. <laughs> Dan and Rex. <laughs> sorry, they're both T's and it's the same guys. Yes. Them whiskey guys in Texas. Oh, sorry, not T's. What am I saying? T's. I was saying, never mind. I don't know. It's this. It's it's the rye. It's Vault six. does not start with a T. <laughs> well, until someone comes out with six second abs. Seven minute six, abs. Six, six second abs. Six, or six minute abs. I would do six second abs. <laughs> yeah, six, 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 six minute abs. No, you, you can't even get a... You can't even get a workout. Was, who's ever heard of six minute abs? <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think we got as many as I wanted to. Mm. But. This one's good. Wait, do I have a clean glass? Ooh. Why am I doing this? I don't think I do. This is good. Yeah. Would purchase again. Yeah, totally. This is my, my by far, my favorite JD now, Pepper product. But it's it's a, it's an MGP 95.5, I So what's assume. not to like? I want to I want to taste their stuff. Me too. I want to know what's coming out of our hometown. Yeah, I'm like, I don't transitions of when distillers stop sourcing and start putting their own stuff out. You know, when people stop being polite and start getting real, um, <laughs> that always makes me a little nervous. I'm proud of them for doing it and like mm -hmm. making it a transparent transition of we're gonna start putting our own stuff out now. Yeah, but it makes me a little nervous to have been. You know, if I'm like really recommending this this year and then next year it becomes their product and it's different, that makes me a little scared to be recommending it. I think they should, do, yeah, that's why we're big fans of Barstown Bourbon Company who's doing like the wean you off method. It's, you know, with their um, Discovery Series, every year or every uh, batch release, it, it usually has more percentage of their own distillate and less of a percentage, obviously, of source stuff. Until, you know, they get old enough to where, boom, it's like the wean off method, right? Yeah, so sure. So I think that's... I think you coined that, but that's fine. I coined it. It's mine. Copyright. It's Bourbon Night 2021. I want this. I've been looking forward to this all night, and I'm going to give myself a healthy pour. Because I think we should watch a movie after this, because there's no work tomorrow for me. What about Idiocracy? We've seen that so many times. No. I bet you've only seen it like twice. That is not true. No? You've seen it more? I've seen it more than twice. Did you twice. see it more before me? Or have you seen it? Did you see it I had seen me? it before. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, hmm. So she says. Who'd you see? Uh, I don't know. Probably <laughs> just myself. I like to watch movies all the time. Um, oh, Swan says, do a, do a barrel pick of it. They're offering picks of this. <gasps> would love to do that. Would what? we have to go to Indiana? Or would they... Could we They talk would probably to... ship... Yeah. <laughs> I would love to oh, do a pick. Okay. I would love to do a pick of that. You just witnessed that people. Things are happening. Things Wait, are happening. Can we write it down? 
I'm gonna go back to make two chapter marks. So, so you I'll were be reminded. Remember. I'll be okay, reminded. Okay, because it's yeah. right at the start of Pikesville. Yeah. This is Pikesville. Brian Bernicky. Tucks on truck says Sarah. Do you do you not do this full time? I don't. Mm -mm. I work full time job. I'm a working lady. Someone's got to bring home the bacon. You bring home plenty of bacon. I bring some bacon. We both bring bacon. It's just different kinds of bacon. True. Canadian. I don't know why mine would be Canadian. Regular pork belly, I don't know. If anything, mine would be Kentucky straight bacon. <laughs> Kentucky straight bacon whiskey. This tastes different after what we just had, mm -hmm. for sure. It's still really good, though. Brian Bernicke saying, halfway through Chad's cork video, I thought for sure it was going to end <laughs> with a torch. Oh, Brian. Yeah, I actually Googled... <laughs> What can you pour in a whiskey bottle to dissolve a cork? And then I'm like, well, that bottle is just, I'm going to have to rinse that so oh, many, I so had a, many times. Yeah, I had a terrible suggestion. I was like, you know, get like a kebab skewer, stick the cork, and then try to you yank it out. You weren't the only one. So here's the thing with that you video. You can't do that, though. The most number of su other suggestions of any other video I think we put out, people are like, pipe, it said two words, pipe cleaner. I'm like, yes, I know what a pipe cleaner is. How is that going to get a cork out? It has no tension. Like, how are you going to use a pipe cleaner? Some people were saying to, like, take it and, like, make a loop at the end so that you could hook the cork and then You're pull not it pull, out. It's, it's too it malleable. Be, it's too malleable. Yeah, I don't think that would have worked. It. But also, like, the bag, everyone has an extra bag. Pretty much everybody has a straw. I mean, I yeah. would assume you can now, fashion a straw. Look, I haven't watched... Uh... Fashion a straw. <laughs> I haven't. Fa fashion do yourself do a straw. Don't buy one. Fashion yourself a straw. Picture me stranded on an island fashioning, fashioning a straw. straw. I'm gonna take these. What are they called? To cat, drink out of my coconut. Uh, cat, 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 re uh, cat ears. What are they called? Those reeds that grow out of cat tails. Cat tails. Thank you. Cat eyes. What am I thinking? <laughs> I fashion yourself a straw. Now, uh, full disclosure. I have. I haven't watched uh, the Whiskey Tribes video yet so you watch that be one of their one of the the pipe cleaner you get a pipe cleaner look it works probably I watched but it. also i don't have any pipe cleaners i'd have to go to a, what am i doing arts Michaels. and crafts over here i don't i guess if you have kids you probably have pipe cleaners sure, right sure. for school projects yeah other people are like Swan. get a get a straw and some bubble gum and i mean the a coat hanger and actually was my third i was like i'm just gonna bend this coat hanger and just stab it uh, but I didn't have to go that far. Like, the amount of suggestions in the comments of that video. I'm like, just watch the video. Cat ears. We already got it out. Like, and it's not like we chose the most expensive, most difficult method. We, I say we, like I had any involvement in it. But everyone has a plastic bag. I just youtube it. I was like, how to get a cork out of a bottle. And, and you were just trying their methods. Just trying their methods. And, you know, we cited them. We linked them. Brad says they use zip ties. Yeah, zip ties was the coolest method. I know, that, I know that's what Bill said <laughs> in the email. Scott said Bear Grylls did... Grylls? Is it Grylls? Grylls, right? Did that with a reed to make a straw. See? Fashion your own straw. I don't think it's Grylls. I think it's Grylls. He put an I. G-R-I-L-L-I-S. I -I know, but I've heard it pronounced on TV. Grylls. Grylls. I don't know. Bear Grylls? We're oh. not on a first name... No, I don't know. We're not. MacGyver. We're on a first name basis, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. MacGyver. 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 Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but the the uh, and I said it in the video, but the one where <laughs> they use the knife to cut it in the neck. Watching you try to do that stressed me out. Ugh! It was a scotch bottle, and it was one of those where the neck is like it goes like this. So there was like a little. Yeah. So they had room. cradle for. They it. had room in there. Yeah. And they also had a uh, like a knife that you would use to, like fillet a fish. Mm. So it was really long and. Like a really skinny knife. Yeah. Yeah, and man that. Oh, I cut a lot out of that video. <laughs> it could have been 20 minutes of me going, damn it, damn it, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to watch that. No one wants to watch that. I'm glad it was five minutes and it worked. The uh, bag method was genius, says Nick. Yeah, it was cool. I think my addition of the straw. I think your addition of the straw, because like, I watched you try to blow it up. I was like, oh, I can tell he's irritated. <laughs> I almost passed out. It was. A, I don't have great lungs. He does not have great lungs. Yeah. He could not ever be a smoker. No. That's why I don't. That's why I don't we smoke. must protect him at all costs. Yeah, even cigars. Like, gotta protect these lungs. It's like protect. when we go on vacation, this we're not like, maker. let's go swimming in the ocean. In <laughs> Neither of us wants to be underwater. Neither of us wants to have to hold our breath. <laughs> like, we're like, can we just drink? Riptide comes. And can I we just drink somewhere? Go, they actually happened to me. In, in, I don't want to lay out. In, Look at uh, me. I'm not gonna lay out. In high school, 
got like pulled out and I couldn't touch the ocean floor anymore Aww. and I was treading water and then the lungs well I started to get nervous right so you started to freak out and then so then that you know and uh whew, but luckily I got look at you you're, you're sitting I'm here, here today I'm here I'm here but it was a scary time now I'm like pff, f the ocean <laughs> Uh, Clifton wants to know what the hell is with Michter's because that happened to him on his tenure. Yeah. Right? Uh, we've heard a lot of feedback about A lot about of people this. in the comments. Um, I wonder and if they get... just had like a bad batch of corks uh, or something. Well, it seems I like it might be a Michter's problem. Companies are just like that. Like Jefferson's. Their corks get loose. Notoriously you can just... loose. Just... You can almost like just move it and hear it. Oh, you, you, you can. Like if you, if you turned it, like I'm going to do this. That's fine. Pikesville's got nothing. It. Good, but if you turn in some of the Jefferson's bottles, you turn them upside down, it's gonna leak. We had we had one on set. Just saying. Yeah, true. We had one on set, pop from a, a hot light. Yeah, it just was like boop. No, nope, a hot the, light on it. it. It was a uncorked bottle, but the cork was in there. But it must have not been. A, and we look around, and the cork is just from a hot light. And then I tried to do that last summer for a video and could not get a cork to pop in my trunk. It was, it was like 110 degrees that oh, day. Was and Chad was just sweating. out in the driveway at noon, just like soaked in sweat, waiting, checking in the trunk. Has it popped yet? Just walking around the driveway, waiting. And I it used never, a Knob Creek bottle, maybe. Maybe you should have used but a Jefferson's had, bottle. We've had buddies, uh, you know, Matt Preston had a Knob Creek pop on him in the trunk. We had a preservation pop on us in the trunk. Yep. And I had another bottle of something. And that's why I was trying to do the video. It was like a PSA. Hey, keep... Drink bourbon every day. Drink bourbon every day. <laughs> <laughs> keep your bottles out of the heat. Because uh, they'll pop on you. Michael says Bartstown pop Bourbon... Off. BBC, I assume, Bartstown Bourbon Company has uh -huh. the best cork. They uh, do, yeah. There's, I mean, I you never corks. realize how much you appreciate a cork until it sucks. I mean, this Pike's Full's a good one. It's, a, it's, it's a no good frills. One. It's all cork. It's simple. It's all cork, but... I don't mind that. It's a good seal. And a lot of people have it's been pointing light. out, like, the reason... Like, we shouldn't be shaming bottles with screw tops. Um, but we never screw top shame. No, we, just oh, we, innocent people... Oh, generally. Generally. Um, shouldn't shame bottles with screw tops because then you don't have the cork issue. And, you know, they're like... It, with wine, it's like continuing to age in the bottle, I think. With whiskey, it's not. I don't, don't quote me on that. Is I read it? I read something that says that like there is still something happening in a wine bottle with Well, what I don't like about wine bottles is most people store them on their side. But so that, that is wine, supposed to be that's why I think it's supposed to be you, a cork. You don't want to do that with whiskey bottles. You don't right. want it touching I mean, if you haven't wet a cork in a while, you know, before you pop it, maybe just wet it. A little bit and then you know when I do things on uncorking like that Michter's that broke I'm going for effect that's not even in question I should have twisted and rock maybe not rocked just kind of twisted back and gently. forth gently but then and just like ease it out that's stupid that's very anticlimactic that's stupid what you want if you want a good cork pop go ahead and wet it again well it's never as good as it is on a first um, on corking, but yeah, no. I was going for that. Um, people have messaged us though and said that happened to their Mictors uh, cork, and a then handful they of people. messaged the company and they sent them a new cork, and a new cork, maybe and maybe some swag. a little treat, maybe we a little done that. for your trouble. We haven't done that yet. I'm gonna do that well, and say, do you know who I am? Ew, don't. Do you? That's I'm disgusting. A, I'm a Influence. Nothing is more unattractive to me uh, than someone who's like, but I'm an influencer. Do you even know who I am? Tell them about that Emily in Paris or whatever Ugh, it's called. I'm not going to tell them about that. This is probably like an audience. It's 462 people who probably don't want to hear about Emily in Paris. They have wives and girls. Oh, friends. now it's 58 because people were like, yeah, no. Whoa. <laughs> my, um, my girlfriend made me try to watch that. I mean, I watched it because it's... It was just junk food for your brain, and everyone was talking about it. But it's basically about this 20-something-year-old girl who's just, like, automatically, because she's great, is, like, a expert at social media because she's young. And then they give her this amazing job in Paris, and then and she makes stick. amazing friends, and then she meets an amazing guy, and she has amazing ideas at work. Uh, and she's just, like, all that she makes a couple of social media posts, and now all of a sudden everyone loves them, and she's an influencer, and everything works out. And I'm like... 
This is such crap. As someone who used to be a 20-something-year-old girl, this is not how my first job experience went. This is bull. Yeah, every place that she works for, from what I saw She just had a stroke of genius. From the other room was... Oh, you were watching it. uh, No. Was... I don't think you're taking your. I don't think you're putting enough stock in social media. Uh, from your, you know, your brand guy, your uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, you should do this, and it can really harness the power of uh, going viral or whatever. And they're like, I don't trust you. And then she doesn't, and they're like, Okay, kid, you have moxie. I think the thing <laughs> that annoyed me the most is that they would just bring her into meetings and be like, You don't know anything. Shh, be quiet. And immediately after meeting a client. As someone who works in marketing, this is frustrating for me. She just meets a client, hears a little bit about their business, and then it's like, I what a, I think we need to do I have an idea. is that we need to focus on your social media. <laughs> and here's a brilliant stroke of genius from me, someone who knows very little about your business or the world in general. And everyone's like, yes, it's brill- It's amazing. This is what the world is like. Yeah. I think a lot of young people will watch it's that show. Give them the wrong and it will give them the wrong I mean, obviously it's TV, but I think it gives people the wrong impression of like the weight that you can throw around at a new job. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it's good. Yeah. So I have some problems with this show. <laughs> uh, Uni Polk said, "Sarah, I watched Neat because you mentioned the Freddie Johnson Pappy scene in that vid. Doesn't it? That make... scene made me cry. I, I mean, yeah. I might tear up just thinking about it. Yeah. No, I, I would good. say I it's was good. and have been definitely a person who was used to." focus on saving things for certain occasions. Um, and I think just like the past few years and also um, hearing Freddie tell that story has made me be like, no, nope, I want to do it today. Chad has to police me because I'll be like, can we open this right now? He'll be like, well, we should really do it on camera. So no, but I'll be like, what? Why wait? Why wait till tomorrow? Ratings? <laughs> and someone has to be the voice of reason. We have a channel. Someone uh, has to be. You know, we have a channel. We have to share it with you guys. Uh, Clifton said, I need a pour for that amazing rant. Oh, did you watch it, Clifton? Uh, I don't I don't know. He said he wanted to hear about it, so I told him. Okay, that's cool. No, the thing about Pikesville... And her outfits could have been better, let's be honest. <laughs> they were a it little... It seemed like she was always just wearing a crop top. They were a little childish. she was just a stick. Well, you know, everyone's got their own no, no, thing going no, on. No. But... Hey, 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 no, no body shaming. <laughs> just saying. She, she doesn't drink whiskey every Sunday. <laughs> nope. nope. Or maybe she 445 doesn't. watching and only 205 likes? Come on, Donald says. They're here for the Sarah rants. Okay, so should I start talking about the Mandela effect now? Or should I leave? Do it. No. So the Bernstein Bears. It's not actually the, the Bernstein Burn- Bears. I can't even believe it. But you know the one, I think I've said this before, the one Mandela effect that is not real is the Luke, I'm your father. He never said that. It's just when it went into pop culture, you had to have context behind it. So you said, Luke, I am your father. Not, no, I am your father. Which is what it really is and has always been. Right, and if you've, been, if you've ever watched you the just, movie. Yeah, if you just start saying, no, I am your father. There's no that's context. That's kind of creepy. There's no context. It's a little creepy. You need the Luke. Because no one else was named Luke. Uh, he said he didn't watch it, but he's totally going to now. Just watch As it. As a marketing in- guy, I feel like I need to, I feel like, ugh, feels like he needs this in his life. I think the reason why I kept watching it is because she keeps eating delicious food and drinking wine with and people who are very sophisticated. And I was no like, weight. I'm, a, I'm here for this. Mm. She drink, drinks a lot of wine. I was like, I'm about it. <laughs> um, is Pike's better than Russell single barrel rye? Now we said this in our drink this or drink that, or it may have been in the another round. The you Patreon said you episode. wanted to put them next to each other. Well, I said I didn't think it'd be fair because the Russells, even though it's still a fifty-one percent rye, just like this one, it tastes more like a higher rye rye. So I don't know if they're compatible to go up against each other. I don't know. I don't know. If you're more in the mood for a rye, I think you should go with that single barrel rye. If you're more in the mood of a high rye bourbon, I feel like you should go with this Pikesville rye. Yes. Because that is completely, especially now after a night of rye. It's nice. It feels like we've switched to a bourbon. It does. Uh, Caitlin says, neat completely changed the way I drink whiskey. I don't don't hold on to it. Enjoy it in the moment. And I love that. And I think yeah. it's really made me want to share. Like, even though we, I mean, we're fortunate enough to get access to a lot of bottles that I think are more limited and maybe not everybody has access to, so... 
whenever we get the opportunity, which we haven't really had the chance much this year, but we're, I'm very much like, Chad, can we give this? Chad, can we give that? Chad, can we pour this? Can I bring this one upstairs to have? Um, and it's good. I like sharing. I, I feel like we um, satiate that need by popping um, barrel picks. And we have a lot of barrel picks. Yes, a lot of them have true. been shared with us. We're actually, now we've gone back to an Adam Terry uh, Russell's Reserve single barrel that we cracked a while ago. But then I think it just got kind of got pushed to the back, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now we've rediscovered it, and we're drinking on that. We're probably going to kill that in the next month, um, which is really good. So I feel like the things we kind of keep close. If you've seen our episode about what bourbons we keep close in our like bourbon cabinet, which is right off camera over here, our picks usually. Usually, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's become that way. It has become. And that things way. that need polishing off. Yeah. Things that have been open for a while. Um, I have two problems right now. What's your two problems? The people are making my Mandela effect thing worse. Um, let's see. Carlo uh, said... Well, no, go ahead. Carlo said that the same thing is with, frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. I thought it was, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. He said, never said it. I haven't seen Gone with the Wind in forever, but... Wait, I'm what is it really? I thought it was, frankly, my dear, I yeah, don't give a damn. I thought it was too. Is that not in the movie? Because... Yeah, that's in the movie. Okay. Well, that he was the first say Scarlet. No, he doesn't say Scarlet. Again, context. People put context into their quotes. But I've all, you need I've it. never said Scarlet. Like I've never no. heard that. No, no. He says, "Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn." And then someone and it was else a big said, deal. It was 1939, first movie in color, and the first movie of that, like a blockbuster, to have a cursed word in it. Yeah. So I they're know. like, he said, "Damn," but he said, "Damn," though, right? But I just said it on YouTube, so. Well, it's. <laughs> You just I'm kidding. Don't drop the f bombs and sure. we're fine. Well, I mean, we'd be, of, we'd be fine anyway. We'd be fine anyway, but a lot monetization. We're not gonna do it. Why do it? Uh, and then well, Missile Man said, "Play it again, Sam." Not in the movie, and that's Casablanca, right? Yes, he just says, "Play it again." Play it again. I don't I can't know. remember, but, but yeah. context. I get it. it. Context. Um, James. 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 So Cal. Cal. Pikesville is a great. Right, right. <laughs> it is a great rant, right? I want to read uh, Tucks on Trucks up there. He says, Is your job ever like what I'd imagine filming porn is like? Does it take all the specialness out of it? No. Well, it, I can't speak we on that because I've done, never done porn. I haven't so. been in the porn industry before. I can't say what, I can't make a comparison. Right. Because I don't know what I would be comparing it to. Um, but no. But no, it doesn't. I still enjoy drinking bourbon. We still yeah. talk about it a lot, even when we're not on camera. Yeah. I love being at events and like not on camera again, but meeting people and interacting and talking about stuff. I mean, it. it's different, I think, to be in front of the camera versus like with other people. Mm -hmm. In that, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without it sounding negative and I don't want that. Um, right. I think it's just like social situations for some people either energize them or drain them. And I'm one of the people where it drains me. So whenever we go do like a three day or four day conference and it's like a lot of drinking and talking to other people, there are times when I'm like, I just need to retreat to my room because I literally, if I had an extension cord to plug myself in, I yeah. would uh, to recharge, but I don't. That's so where like, Sarah and I differ. He gets energized. I feed off of other people's energy. I chop their head off and absorb their energy there can be only one so he's a pragmatist <laughs> no i'm a highlander oh there can be only one there can be only one um no i feed off it uh yeah no i can i can i do need my alone time and my off time but i would not say that any of that has anything to do with taking the specialness out of it it's mm -hmm. just depending on the situation it's a little bit different mm -hmm. but i enjoy all parts of it it's just like I feel like I need a vacation when I come home from a long weekend of like a bourbon conference sure. or something like that yeah. because I just want to, I just want to like zone out and watch a movie and like have no interaction. Like leave yes. my food on the doorstep. Yes. Don't call me. I don't want to. True. I uh, don't know. It's good though. Everyone works different. <laughs> Has Chad ever delivered a pizza? I think it's probably back to the porn conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then Andrew. I just pictured that. Drew Boland saying this escalated quickly. It it did. It did. Oh, it and we got Redbird 101 in here. What's up? We were, we were talking about Russell's Rye. We were. We were talking about some Russell's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm an energy vampire. 
There you go. Yeah. There is such a thing in a room, though, when people say that they what, walk the away shows? from other people feeling oh, like yeah, yeah, that yeah. they took their mm -hmm, mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. It's a weird thing. I don't it know is. if I believe in that, but... Energy vampires? Sure, I believe in it. I like that one from... From what, what we, we do, do in the shadows. shadows. Yeah, for sure. He just tells them about like his cat and like his dumb <laughs> work problems and they're all just like mm. <laughs> You should watch that. Mm -hmm. Um Would you guys ever review any whiskey from other regions? Sure. You know, we had some Japanese whiskey just last night. We give it a taste, but I don't feel comfortable passing judgment on it because I'm not it's you not know, our forte. I was actually gonna make that comparison early in the evening, I think from the Rebel Yell Rye. I was gonna say, it reminded me of that, can't pronounce Japanese whiskey that we had last night. It was like that easy sort of. This is for me. Mind, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> mind your business now. Mind, mind your business. business. Uh, I mean, I guess I have to stand up and get it now. Nico? No, it wasn't Nico. No? No. Oh, I see it. I see which one you're talking about. I okay. Do like Nika from the barrel, though. Joseph Bra <laughs> Joseph Brazo says, "So that's why people always walk away from me." <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Uh, unless disagree. you're wearing unless you're wearing your hoodie. I like to picture my Joseph Brazo mm -hmm. wearing his hope, drink more bourbon hoodie. I hope somehow he got to see that. And uh, oh, oops. Well, hear that. It was hear uh, it. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was a podcast. Yeah. Uh, the. You're better with the pronunciation, Sarah. Hakushu? Hakushu? Please correct me. If Don Nishida... I'm going to need the phonetics. We're in the chat. He could tell us because this Cause is from he him. Sent, he sent it. Uh, this is actually to go to that go with that cocktail kit that we showed earlier. He said... Make... Yes. He called it. It's that... But we... Oh, you are here, Don Nishida. He is here, yes. But Hello, if he Don. could just phonetically... Yeah. Haku Hakushu? Hakushu? Hakushu. I yeah. feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yeah. Um... Crooked Tail says, finally landed my first bottle of Rare Reed Rye in Michigan. So hard to find in Ohio. So good. good. JG says, all Team Sarah. And it is Hakushu. Okay. Hakushu. And my favorite, Team Sarah. Thanks, JG. You're so sweet. <laughs> no, I mean, it was good. We didn't end up making the cocktail with this. Um, we ended up using some Elijah Craig but pick. We did open this and taste it. We did taste it. Neat. Um, so the next step is to make that, uh, uh, the other cocktail gold, gold fashioned with this as the whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Just because there's no work tomorrow, but we're not going to keep, we will sign off soon, but I, <laughs> Chad, do you like movies about gladiators? You ever seen a grown man naked? You ever notice when one dog sniffs another dog's butt? <laughs> Oh, the references. What would the show be without references? We have yeah. lost a lot of viewers since we started doing that, though. I don't think so. No, I mean, like, I've watched it go down tonight. Mm. Yes. I don't believe it. Uh, have you ever been in a Turkish prison? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So this is the Elijah Craig Shh. straight rye. This isn't toasted. I For some reason, I was thinking, like, this is toasted. This is no, just the there's rye. their toasted barrel, and then there's the rye. This is just the rye. But both came out last both year. Both came out in 2020. Right. That dumpster fire every year. Yeah. It's not like it just ended on December 31st at midnight, though. That's how it's supposed to happen. Yeah, and that's not how it works. Um, <sighs> Our beloved Pikesville. But I do, I do feel like we should wind it down. We're ramping down, folks. Well, because I've just been on several rants, and I feel like it's time. Because <laughs> you're just looking there and laughing now, and not even interacting. No, it was I was from that was a laugh. So I was laughing at you. You were laughing at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, Coco said he got a sample of the Elijah Craig B five two zero earlier tonight, and it's glorious stuff. Yeah, we it saw you tasty. went. Uh, you, you were uh, you were on on the live, and oh. I saw you wearing that gray bourbonite shirt too. Ooh. If I could have, I would have hopped in and said hello, but. A lot of people have fussed about there not being an Elijah Craig barrel proof in our, well, I don't want to spoil, but in our, in our best of 2020. Oh, because there was uh, the a top. The well, top. that's what happens when you do a blind. You, yeah. You're free. You're free of scrutiny. How about that? It was in on the list. It just, yeah. I still need to do that breakdown. It didn't crack. Of where the, things it didn't fell. crack the top 10. But you know what else didn't crack the top 10? George T. Stagg. So 
So people who are like, oh, it's just about BTAC. Not really, uh, though. Apparently not. Because if I had guessed, I would have thought that would have been like number two or three. Yeah. So. And I feel like if we, if this and hadn't been the year bubble. where we included those, uh, I don't want to say benchmark because people think benchmark bourbon. The uh, mainstays, the everyday. Almost like tent poles. Tent pole, yeah, that's what we call them. Tent pole whiskeys, Pikes will be in one of them. Mm. I feel like it probably would have cracked top 10, but those tent poles. Kind of blocked. Kind of did some blocking. Some yeah. top 10 blocking. Yeah, did. So, I don't even know if no one really responded and said that they wanted to see the breakdown list. So, I haven't well, spent, Some people did. They did? Yeah. Okay, I haven't spent much time on it because, well, one, busy. But two, I didn't see a, like an overwhelming response of like, we must know. So I was like, maybe I don't need to prioritize this. I mean, I think we should, we should, do we it, should make it an episode. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys say? Uh, mm -hmm. What about the Jack Daniels mm -hmm. single barrel ride 69 doll hairs? We haven't tried it. We don't have it. We can't I think, find it. But I think we have a sample coming. We have a sample coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from, from a glorious person. But... Yeah, no, we can't find it. We've looked. Trust me. We've looked. And we have some right off camera. We got some Jack Daniels I'm like, we do? <laughs> samples of bourbon that once Rye Month is done, I think we should call it, you know, those like, oh, what are they? Um, I can't remember the, the YouTube channel, but it's like when, when Irish people try bourbon. I or love when it. It's so good. X or tries when, like, X. People, I think it should be when... Like non-bourbon drinkers yeah. try bourbon for the first time. When, when two Kentuckians, when Kentuckians try, Jack, try Daniels. Jack Daniels. I think we should do that. Because to be honest, in my life, I've maybe tasted Jack Daniels a handful of times, like the regular Black Label. And I have not tried any other Jack Daniels. I well, have to be honest. No, we have. When? In, in New Orleans. Advent calendar. Oh, in the Advent calendar. But it's been like... Okay. I know we had a Jack Daniels single barrel in the advent calendar. And, and we and, did and try we, a Jack and, Daniels and, at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival yes. a few years ago. <clears throat> but like, these are one-off times when I'm really not picking it apart and analyzing it. Right. I think that this would be a funny video. Do you guys two want, would, you, would you watch that? Would that be too... Would, okay, would you consider it clickbaity and and as try to remove yourself from from it and think of it as like a you general population. You stumbled across our would channel. Would you stumble across it and be like, oh, this is clickbaity? Or, or would you be like, why, watch why do they have such a bias? Or like, we want to know, we want to know. Would there be negatives towards that? If it all being good fun, which we think it would we be. We think it would be fun. Let us know, that's what we want to know. Um, John? Uh, John says, cheers, you two. I got my It's Bourbon Night t-shirt yesterday. The note was a nice touch. Oh, thank you. Yay. And thank you, Postal Service, for... Thank you. Finally. Finally delivering things. They're still backed up, okay? They're still backed up. It's still going slow. We basically can't do anything. I need to update that message on the website. Oh, my God. Um, a few people have said they want to see the, the notes. Great. I will work on that. Um... I don't know when I'll be able to get it out, but I will work on it. And James Sokal says, prioritize it. So maybe I'll prioritize it. <laughs> uh, no, I know he didn't say it like that. Um, what else? I saw something else. Dairy Girls is excellent, says Michael. I haven't watched that, but I've wanted to watch it. I thought it is that like Stephen King? Dairy? What? I thought that too, but I don't think so. Oh. I don't know though. Okay. I haven't watched the trailer. I just saw it and I was like, well, that looks good. I heard a good thing about it. Um, I saw... Okay, I would watch that. We would watch that. Go for it. A, B, Jack, Jack Chad and Sarah in the Twilight Zone. Is it like when everything tastes like Jack Daniels? We're in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> this bourbon is Jack Daniels. This bourbon is Jack Daniels. Jeff Wimbush says, why would it be negative? Two Kentuckians can't drink Tennessee whiskey? Question mark. I think from our perspective, Kentucky and Tennessee have such a rivalry that anyone from Kentucky or Tennessee might view it as clickbait -y. But that is literally just from our point of view. So it's actually just good point, to yeah. hear that. It's good to hear your guys' feedback. There, there really is. There is a there's a sports rival. There's a whiskey rival. There's lots of rivals. There are perceived, but I don't know that if you ask a Kentucky distiller how do they feel about Jack Daniels, that they would be like, well, we're no. rivals. No, they wouldn't. Right. They wouldn't. It's they a consumer's, absolutely wouldn't. It's a consumer's perception. It's completely. Consumer's... And sports fans. It's not the coaches aren't gonna be like, yeah, Tennessee. Well, they might. A little bit. I don't know them. 
I mean, back when that dude wore that awful orange. Bruce Pearl. Bruce Pearl. And that, he doesn't work there anymore. I know he doesn't work there anymore, but that awful, awful I also orange didn't enjoy that orange blazer. Suit. It was hard to like him. Oh, Bruce Pearl. I didn't like him. I still him. hate him. Where'd he go? I don't care. I hate him. <laughs> I forgot where he went. I hate him. For a second, I want to say Alabama, but I don't think that's right. Mm. That's not right. Um, Cats. Thank you. I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Nears. Uncle Nears. Um, the Bourbon Women oh, yes. Single Barrel. Oh, yes. That one. That so is awesome. So good. That is Man, awesome. Man, the Bourbon Women really know how to pick some stuff. Yes. I don't know about the Jack and Dickel AB testing, because Dickel is Dickel. Dickel is Dickel all day long. We can pick that out of a lineup by smelling alone. Yeah, you don't like to taste it, but you sure do like to say it. Dickel. Auburn, okay. Auburn. Screw I said Auburn. Alabama. It started with an A. I knew that it started with an A. The barn. Anyways, we are way off. So I feel like we should... Gonna bring it back? Let's, 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 let's close wrap this it up. one up. Wrap yep. it up. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. It's, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I saw um, Trev put a link to whiskeyambitions.com. That's where you can get our merch. Thank you, Trev. Thank you so much. Like these Glen Karens and uh, t-shirts that neither one of us are wearing. No, because it was snowy and cold. Hoodies and what's nots. Water. Oh, water glasses. That's what we're drinking from. These lovely Glen Karens. Copitas are on order, and they, they will get here as soon as uh, they can come from Scotland. As soon as Scotland and all the shipping carriers will allow them to get here. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, we have more things in the works. We, we do. Twenty twenty one, big year. Plans for twenty twenty one. A uh, late super chat from Patrick. We appreciate it. What's the lineup of? It's not late, and it's not early. It arrived just when it meant to. <laughs> Much like a wizard. Yes. Nerd. But I got the reference, so me too. What a, uh, how about a lineup of Tennessee whiskey besides Jack? We could do that with the Nelson, the Greenbrier. Um, True. And we could do it with... Bellmead. Bellmead. And I'm sure we could find some... We could do it with the Dickel Bottle and Bond. Or something like that. Or something Or something like that. Like that. Or and something the Uncle like Nearest. And, and the it'll Uncle be Nearest. great. We'll do it. I love it. From Maybe Tenne we'll have like a From rival. Tennessee, Maybe but we'll it's have, not Jack. Ooh, I just had a good idea. Maybe ooh. during like basketball, you know... NCAA March Madness, we could have a rivalry week and we could do some. Ooh. Oh, don't you think that would be like fun? It. Don't you think that would be fun? I Whiskey be fun. rivalries? I like it. Maybe we'll have we to should, do some research. Maybe we should start a beef with one of the other whiskey channels. Ew, no. No, just like, like you know, like wrestling. Just ribbon, whatever, elbows. Yeah, yeah, like the face and the heel. Maybe. We'll, we'll do see. like wrestling. It'll be rivalries. rivalry week. Yeah. It'll be fun. Good, be like, good. Thank be you, like, Patrick, be like, um, for the wonderful idea. Uh, Oh, Jason from the Mash and Drop. Jason. Are you going to challenge him? I challenge you. Please don't. To get in the squared circle. By that, I mean the glass. Okay, well, we dropped a 390. Yeah, okay. We're dropping, <laughs> we're dropping quick. Um, but yeah, we'll start some type of fake rivalry. Rivalry. Yeah, rivalry with uh, another whiskey channel. And uh, it'd be good for ratings. It'll be Sweeps Week. Okay. <laughs> Do people even know what Sweeps Week is? What's I don't know what Sweeps Week is. But it's okay. Don't explain to me right now, it. please. Google it. I'll Google it later. Chattanooga. That's um, a good. That's a good suggestion. We can. Clifton agrees to start a beef with us and with three bad faces. Clifton. Oh yeah, I'm gonna break you. So was it Duke versus Kentucky? And I'm thinking uh, even maybe we. But what if we find a whiskey that's made in North Carolina in that area? And like same thing with Louisville. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work. We need to work this out. I like it. But I like the idea. Ooh, of I like it. I Let's like go. it. Let's go. 70K, says Donald. I know. So close. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Please Help subscribe. us get to 70K. Uh, Chad versus Fred Minnick. Yes. I will take on the heavyweight champion. <laughs> I mean. It's basically the title holder, right? He's the heavyweight right. champion. Right. He would be the champ. Yeah. Right? I'll of take all the on. bourbon things. And Fred. Fred. Fred Minnick, I challenge you, brother. Now he I'm like Hogan wants, and Macho Man. He just wants to do all the to voices. a steel cage match, brother. This is why we have to leave at nine o'clock and not stay yeah, till nine thirty. I, I see that now. You're right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, thanks, you guys. I hope you have. If you have the day off tomorrow, I hope you have a good one. Uh, I think we're gonna watch a movie. Yeah, cause... I think we have to give it about a 10 second buffer because people are always like, it cut off while you were still talking. Oh, okay. Well, we'll give it a second. Um, all right.
and I'll just go ahead and mouse on over here and I'm gonna hit this and then we'll say I'll hit mine in okay. nine seconds and you can hit yours in ten. This is some teamwork. All right. Allow us to sit here in uncomfortable silence for Wait, the you next hit it? ten seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drink more bourbon. Rye.